Hi, hello. This is Anup here. In this video, we are going to see what if your technical preview version of SCM got expired. What can we do about it? Been busy last few months. The latest updated was 1806 and the current uh, is 1810. After three months, 90 days, it got expired. The technical preview version don't have any option. What we can do next? So it says downloading, but it's not actually downloading. What is happening is if you look at the services, you can see SMS exec is getting stopped. Kill it. Let me try to restart it. As you can see, the SMS exec service is stopped. The version got expired, that is why. There is no option other than click uninstall the preview version from here. It is better if you can create a new server itself and uh, do it again. But this is my test and test lab, so but I would recommend um, to create a new VM and install a new version over there. Now the console got uninstalled, and now I'm going to uninstall the primary server preview version uninstall this configuration manager site if you click on this it won't remove the database so I'm not going to click on that so it will automatically remove the data because I already uninstalled the console the checkbox over here is not enabled so this go process is going to take some time okay it's cleaning active directory stuff and SQL database it SQL database and installing the services is completed now the room now it's removing the files deleting tubes cleaning up registry and installing SMS provider everything is done just close it and I'm going to launch SQL and check whether the database is there or not SMS agent is still running that is a client service but um, all the other services are gone SMS exec component so the database is gone so there's no database yeah SSM database is gone it got deleted now we are fine we can delete repo server database the temp one okay start the installation of new technical preview a baseline version I have already downloaded the prerequisite files so let me give the path okay let me provide the site code probably let me provide the site code site name Okay, next, next, yeah, that's fine. Let's start the installation. The prerequisite check started. Okay, let's begin the installation. Uh, prerequisites are just warning, so that is fine. The installation is going on, um, but you can see over here removing pre existing configuration manager services and registry keys this is nice normally this is the this is the step it is going to take long time because it's creating the database and setting up 
so yeah be patient